Has Christianity always been one of the religions in the world to you? Oh, hallelujah. Christianity is not a religion. Neither is it a joining of a church and doing the Christian things like praying and giving and so on. Hallelujah. Christianity is the outworking of God's own kind of life received into the spirit of a man. Whoa. This divine life in the heart of a man makes him righteous. It keeps him healthy, divinely guarded in life, prosperous and victorious. It gives you the ability to enjoy intimate fellowship with the Father and have dominion on this earth. Hallelujah. Yes, in every generation on the earth, God sends special messengers with unique messages to fulfill His word in their dispensation. Whether through the Emancipator, church services, special conferences like the New Christian Conference or the Good Life Devotion, carefully listen, watch and read the message of life and of the divinity of the church ministered by Dr. David Bindan as ordained by God in the scriptures to mature the body of Christ into the full measure of the stature of Christ. Dr. David Bindan taking us on our journey in Christ into sinlessness, sicklessness, deathlessness, lacklessness and leaving us manifested sons of God to the glory of our Father. Hallelujah. Join Dr. David Bindon on the Good Life Devotion every Monday to Friday on this channel and receive truth that will usher you into the divine life experience of sinless holiness, incorruptible health, deathlessness, and reigning in life as a son of God in the full measure of the stature of Christ. Kindly note that you can enjoy the Good Life Devotion on these other platforms at their stated times. Do choose the most convenient one for you or switch to another in case of a broadcast challenge with your usual platform. By all means, don't miss the Good Life Devotion any day. Now, welcome to today's episode with Dr. David Bindon. Wow, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Such a joy once again to welcome you to today's special episode of our favorite Good Life Devotion. The Good Life Devotion is a daily devotional teaching of the truth of God's word aimed at bringing you spiritual substance that the Holy Ghost will use to impress on your heart concerning the Lordship of Jesus and His being a Son of God so that when you believe, you can receive eternal life and be born again as a son or a daughter of God. The truth we bring to you also comes to equip you and build you up to mature in Christ until we all arrive at the full measure of the stature of Christ so that we can live as manifesting sons in life as ordained by our Father before the foundation of the world. The truth also makes us much more effective in the work of the ministry so that together we can bring many more humans into God's eternal plan for their life. So welcome on board this week. We're going to be having a special time as usual this week, discussing the subject of how we can arise as sons of God and shine in this dark world and bring hope to a hopeless world. And so it's going to be awesome as we take a look at that subject from various perspectives. Praise the Lord. But just before we move ahead, I want to bring to us some special announcements and then we'll take a look at our subject for today. Remember, we started bringing you two special, amazing, life-revolutionizing administrations. The first is the regular Sunday ABC appetizer before church. The goal of that uh, teaching uh, on the subject of life and the divinity of the church is to whet your appetite for the word of God before you go to church wherever you are planted. And so it comes to you every Sunday at 6 a.m. GMT to 7 a.m. GMT. It is streamed live on our YouTube page and on our Facebook page. Now, a special note to take or a special attention here is that ABC has been streamed live on Movement TV for some weeks. But due to some operational challenges, the timing has changed so you are now going to have ABC or Movement TV at 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. instead of 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. as a rebroadcast. 
So nothing has changed. It is only the timing that changed. It has changed from 6 to 7 a.m. GMT to 5 to 6 a.m. GMT as a rebroadcast instead of a live event. The live event will be live on our YouTube channel and on our Facebook page. So make sure you take note of those differences. And then the second one is OJ Heat, our journey into health, incorruption, and deadlessness that comes to you every third Friday of every month. This month of September is going to come to us on the 20th. That's the next Friday after this one. So get set at 3 p.m. on the 20th. We're going to have our next session of our journey into health, incorruption, and deadlessness. The last but not the least is the almighty New Creation Conference. Hallelujah. The New Creation Conference is coming of this year. And it's coming of bigger and higher and deeper. We are going to have it at the Accra International Conference Center instead of the National Theater. So, if you go to the National Theater this year, you will not see us there. Go to the Accra International Conference Center, 5.30 p.m. on the 14th and the 15th of November. We're going to bring you details of that as, as we inch closer to those dates. All right, so let's go straight to our subject matter for today. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Our main scripture is book of Isaiah chapter 16, verse 1. And we are going to read the Passion Translation. It says that, rise up in splendor and be radiant. For your light has dawned and Yahweh's glory now streams from you. Wow. Rise up in splendor. And be radiant. For your light has dawned. And Yahweh's glory now streams from you. Hallelujah. What is scripture? Right, so let's pray. Father, we thank you for this time of fellowship. That even in this city, light is entering into light. The beaming forth of the rays of your word is filling us and making us radiant into our world. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Arise and shine. Now, just before we start off reading what we have in the Manspeda here, I would like to inspire you not to tune off because of the topic. You know, there are a good number of God's sons and daughters who are so buried in their individual needs and troubles and challenges that the last thing that is on their minds is to shine. In other words, they are thinking, now that I'm bothered by this problem of money, now that I'm bothered by this problem of demons, now that I'm bothered by this problem of sickness, now that I'm bothered by this marital challenge, this and that problem, how can I shine? Deliver me first. Do this to me first. You see, even in the midst of all those challenges, you still need to learn how to arise and shine. And I'll tell you something. When the devil realizes that any time there are challenges in your life, you throw away your calling, you will never be free from challenges. Because he has known that you have not matured to trust God for what is God's work so that you can do what is your work. See, there are things that we have been asked to do and there are things that God is mandated to do because he's a father. But there are a lot of times that people have taken the place of God and they do not allow God to do his work. Take a father and a son. It is the responsibility of the father to pay for the school fees. But it's the responsibility of the son to study and pass the exams. On this earth, we are to arise and shine. But as long as our needs are concerned, it is the responsibility of our father to make sure that they are satisfied. And he told us what he's doing about them. Um, just before we go into reading the, the man's prayer for today, if you read Matthew chapter 6, Matthew chapter 6, 
Maybe I should just take it from um, verse 31. It says, Take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewith us shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. So do you think the Father doesn't know that you need healing? You need to be free from demons. You need to pay that bill. All these things he knows. Then he said, verse 33, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. So God shows you what should be your focus so that he will be able to focus on what is his. When he says your father in heaven knows, he doesn't know and then he's doing nothing about it. If you read 2 Peter, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 says that according as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. So does God only know about your needs and that's all? No. In Christ, he made provision for every single need of your life. And that is why he said, that is my job. So don't take my job. You continue on the job I have given you. You be busy about the kingdom and its expansion on the earth. And leave the rest to me. So instead of being so worried and carried away and buried in the troubles of your needs, leave that to God in trust on his word. And learn how to shine. And when you continue to shine, you'll be amazed that the things that were troubles, you won't find them anymore. So when you hear us say, arise and shine, don't say, oh, you, nothing is going on wrong with you. You have all things in this medal. You are talking about rising and shine. If you were to know my circumstance, you would not be telling me to arise and shine. We know it. The father knows it. And yet he's coming to you and say, my son, my daughter, where you are now, you can still arise and shine. Shout in the name of Jesus. I am arising and I am shining. Say it again. Say in the name of Jesus. I am arising and I am shining. Say no matter what is happening now in my life, I will arise from today and I will shine in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Why is he saying this to you? He said, rise up in splendor and be radiant for your light has dawned and Yahweh's glory now streams from you praise God wow it says your light has dawned and Yahweh's glory now streams from you when did your light dawn when you became a son of God in Christ we will look at that in the coming episodes the day you came into being as a son of God, the light of God dawned in you. And from that day, Yahweh's glory began to stream from you. But a lot are not aware. So they are not streaming the light of the glory of God in them. But that is why he has sent us. To awaken you to what is already your state. You don't need to go for light. The light is already in you. You are light. Just arise and shine. Oh, praise the Lord. Now we have it here that this call to arise and shine is a clarion call to every son of God. So it's a call to you, my sister. It's a call to you, my brother. Our Father is calling on you. He says, we should arise in our splendor. And we should radiate our light to our world. People of God, the world is suffering. The world is in pain. The world is in confusion. And the world has God in the world. People are calling on God everywhere. 
But God has given the world God. And the God God has given to the world is the church. Are we going to keep this our light and just run away and go to heaven? And you think the Father is happy? Don't let us be in a hurry to run away from this world. What did Jesus say? Father, I don't pray that you take them out of this world. If we are taken out of this world in in this state, the world has no hope. And yet God cares about the people of the world. And that's why he gave the world us. Let us get awakened to the responsibility we have towards the dark world. Instead of sitting back and blaming them and calling them the unrighteous, the wicked and all that, let us arise and let this glory of the Lord that is streaming from us become visible in their lives. Indeed, the church is the solution of the world. We put here that the born again is a complete package of divine solutions. And the radiance of a marvelous light of God to showcase his glorious wonders to this world. You know, some people when we read scriptures like this, they sound too big, too verbose, with beautiful adjectives that mean nothing. But it's not so. The born again is a complete package of divine solutions. Can you believe this? Can you believe that even in your state right now, you are a complete package of divine solution? If you can believe in what you already made, you will come out of your state and be a help to others. But as long as you keep your focus on the troubles around you, you will remain someone who deserves pity and you will never come out of the shell of the challenges around and you will bury your light. The church is the solution. In 1 Peter 2, 9, he said we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people that the Father chose out of darkness so that we will show forth his marvelous light. We'll look at the details of this in our following episodes. But today the Lord just wants to wake you up from your slumber The reason why there are those sicknesses, those challenges, those problems, is not because God hasn't done something about them. It is because you are yet to see yourself. When you see who Christ has made you, when you see what you can do because you are in Christ, when you see what you are in possession of because you are in Christ, you will shake all those things away and you will allow the light in you to shine. But first, you must believe that you have a light to shine. Oh, declare, I have a light to shine. Say, I have a light to shine in my world. Say, I refuse to keep my light from my world. From today, realize, this world is waiting for you. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. I'm going to go and shine. We're going to come back. I'll read to you some of the things we have here that can inspire you to arise and shine in your generation. I'll be right back after this break. Hallelujah. The final global movement brings the whole world appetizer before church. ABC with Dr. David Bender. Yes, just before you go to church every Sunday, spice your spirit up by joining the appetizer before church. ABC with Dr. David Bender and receive the present truth of the message of life and the divinity of the church. It is this message of life and the divinity of the church that the apostles of Jesus Christ preached, the apostles Paul preached, but the dark ages buried it. And this is the message that the Lord has sent me to this whole world, to bring to the world, to bring the body of Christ onto that state of the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Appetizer before church, ABC, with Dr. David Bender. 
comes up this and every Sunday from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. at the Good Life Center 2, Kolegono. You must never miss. world whatever does not get challenged does not change any state will continue to be that same state until it is challenged adam brought death and jesus dissolved death but death continues to behave as if it is king and that will continue until some people challenge it according to the scriptures god himself has determined that there will come a time that he will raise a people that will dissolve death on this earth we have over D-E-A-T-H Get ready for the New Creation Conference 2024 with Dr. David Bindan on the 14th and 15th of November 2024 Theme Deathlessness Venue Accra International Conference Center Accra, Ghana Time 5.30pm each evening New Creation Conference Helping you exhibit the divine life Praise the Lord. So we continue in the man's prayer by saying that the born again is God's light to this world. And the Father expects us to produce God kind of results in our world. See Jesus when he was about to go. Let's talk about the sickness burden of this world. One of the major burdens of the world. What did Jesus say in Mark 16? So that these signs shall follow those that believe in me. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. If they shall drink anything deadly, they shall not hurt them. Then he said, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. No, your problem is not to be saying, so why is it that when I lay hands, people are not healed? Dig deeper. Until you can believe. He said, this son shall follow them that believe. There's a difference between I agree and I believe. Because as for God's side, there's nothing wrong. The scriptures are always true. If you're not finding the results to be so, go back and find out whether what the scriptures said you are, you really have arrived there. So if every Christian built himself up in Christ until we believe, it means the sickness burden would have been gone. Let's turn to the financial burdens. Everywhere, everyone is blaming a, a government. But who is government? You are part of government. Now, if governments cannot meet the needs of the people, what is the church doing? Now, the church doesn't meet the needs of people by going around distributing money. The church meets the needs of the people by upgrading them in their consciousness of their divinity to produce. And that's what we are doing. Look, last week, what we taught you. If you knew that you alone can sustain the whole world, you'd be amazed how you can impact your farm, impact your animals, impact your food, your business, and change your economy. What did the Bible say about us? He became poor. That we, through his poverty, might become rich. And we're not talking about riches as in counting dollars or pounds or Ghana cities. Talking about being rich by coming to the level of being substance. So we can secrete substances. So if you turn on any side, the church is the solution. We put it that. Did you know that there are Jesuses in every community, in every country, and in every continent? Now, these are not antichrists, <laughs> there are true Jesuses. Who are these Jesuses? They are the sons and daughters of God you see around. Anyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And when you are born of God, the Bible says in Romans 8, 29, for whom he did for know, them he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, so that the son might be the firstborn of the other brethren. When you are born of God, you have become one in the family of the God kind. And so the Bible now says that as Jesus is, so are you in this world. So every Christian, everyone that is born again, is a kind of Jesus in his community. 
I didn't say it. First John 4 17. Here it is, our love made perfect. That we may have boldness the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Did you hear that? So are we not when we are raptured. So are we in this world as he is in heaven. But can you believe this? You have to grow to accept God's report as your report. And believe that as he is, so are you here. That is when you'll be able to maximize your light and begin to shine. Oh boy, we said here that until the sons of God recognize that we are what creation has always been waiting for. And take our place to shine the light that we are. The world that we know it will never change. It is time for the light to be made manifest to all creation. Arise and shine. So what have you learned today? Don't let the troubles bury your light. Look within and see who you are. And say, despite all that is going on, I am light, I can shine. If you shift your focus from the problems and you look at the ability in you, you'll be amazed that the problems will disappear and you'll be able to shine. So don't throw away this topic. You can arise and shine. This is not for only a few. It's for every son, every daughter of God. Father, we thank you for today. We give you praise for what you've taught us. Our ability to arise and shine has increased because of this word. In the name of Jesus. Now you've been watching me. It all begins by becoming a light. A person in the world is called darkness. Until one receives Jesus, he cannot have this divine light to shine. What does it take to receive Jesus? It's not a long list of religious things. It is a belief. With the heart, a man believes it. What are you supposed to believe? Believe that Jesus Christ is not a religious leader. He is the son of the almighty God. The very word of God that was there in the beginning and created everything. And became flesh so that he can redeem mankind. If you believe that Jesus the son of God, the word that became flesh. After his death and resurrection, he ascended to heaven and his Lord. If you believe this instantly, the life of God fills you and regenerates you into a son of God. Have you believed? If you have, you have been born again. You have received eternal life. But I can help you make a confession. That will let you always remember that this day you got born again. So that will settle in you. Say, so dear Jesus, I'm so glad that finally I have just believed that indeed you are the son of God. Who by your death and resurrection, you reconcile mankind to God. I am born again because life has filled me. Hallelujah. You are born again because life has filled you. Make sure you call us and help you with that will enable you to grow in Christ. Get planted in a Bible teaching and practicing church. Remain in a fellowship of God's sons and daughters and grow until Jesus comes. I'm surely going to carry away again in our next episode as we take a look at the subject matter from another light. Till then, life is good. Enjoy. Thank you for joining today's episode of your favorite Good Life Devotion with Dr. David Pendan. The Good Life Devotion is proudly brought to you by friends and partners of the Final Global Movement. For more information on how to become a partner, call us on 053-444-6907 or log on to our website, finalglobalmovement.org. Become a partner today and contribute to the global spread of God's message for the now. Follow us on our various social media handles and you will be blessed. Don't miss the Good Life devotion on the channels displayed on your screen at the scheduled times. Till we come your way with the next episode of the Good Life devotion with Dr. David Benden. Life is good. Enjoy.